Ladies and gentlemen, live at Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts for the Hoop Hall Classic. You are tuned in to Focus Springfield, and this is Cyril Zanetti, gratefully joined by... Tony Petaway this evening. And this will be the main event for our uh, two-day run here at the Hoop Hall Classic. And today we've got the Hudson Catholic Hawks going against the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles. It is Max Lockett and Brian Petaway Diaz. Familiar face, I guess, right, Tony? Absolutely. You hear the name. You, let's see the game. All right. So now for the Eagles is Marcus Wallace dishing it out to Richardson. Richardson finds Lockett. Lockett posting up. Finds some space, but now Buchanan has it. Great game yesterday. Bass in the paint. Nice move. Off the glass in for two. Great way to start off using that size. Bass, number 34 in your program this evening. And now for the Hawks, they're looking to get on the scoreboard now with a great start for the Eagles. A disappointing loss, to say the least, for the Eagles yesterday to the Windsor Warriors. I believe the final score was 70 to 50, 20-point loss. Back to the court, though. Well, this Hawks is a redemption possession. song. This yeah, is absolutely. A redemption song. Definitely a redemption song. And no better way to do it against a very, very highly stouted New Jersey team. And right off the bat, shot no good. It will be central territory now. Lock it on the inbound to Wallace. He's starting game. it off. Zero. Wallace is going to have to step it up on the offensive side of the house, and he promised to do just that. Absolutely. Yesterday wasn't necessarily there offensively. Lockett holding on to it. Gets it back to Buchanan, who I mentioned had a fantastic outing from beyond the arc last night. Lockett now. Spin move. Beautiful. Good. Very nice. Beautiful finish. And that's just a great way to start off for the Eagles getting the ball rolling. Four nothing. Your score here at the start of the game. I love the tenacity and energy at this point. Yeah, absolutely. They're both looking for shots within the their offense and uh, giving themselves an opportunity to space out a little bit and yeah. give what the defense is allowing. Yeah, absolutely. And off of that shot, that was Amari Moore. Shot no good. Wallace rebound now on the other side of things. Finds Buchanan in the corner. Buchanan's going to be out of bounds. So that will be Hawks ball, Tony. Yeah, uh, I love what I see so far. Just pace yourself a little bit. Uh, get into the offense, set the play. Absolutely. It's and work with what they have. Can't really, you know, afford that many out-of-bounds out calls like that, so hopefully they work around that. But now, for the Hawks, there's Petaway Diaz. Being guarded by Wallace, uses the screen, finds out to Masong. Now back to Masong, drive. Beautiful finish. The defense was there, but it doesn't matter. Now Wallace to push things. Here's Richardson to Bass. Bass posting up. Big body move. Can't get it to go. Rebound for Dubois. And now for the Hawks, it's Moore. Moore loses it. Richardson recovers. And Moore staying with it. Love to see the energy. Here's Buchanan now. Guarded by Moore. Gets it to Bass. Bass to Richardson to Buchanan. Nice you, movement without the ball. Absolutely. They find out some openings. And now Richardson top of the key now. Guarded by Masung. Richardson uses the screen as the shot clock is getting lower and lower. But the Hawks are going to recover. Or will they call it a kick? Yep. It will be Hawks ball. Well, now for the inbound will be Dubois to McKnight. And now McKnight bringing it down, guarded by Buchanan. Finding Masong, and in the corner is Omari Moore. Three no good, but a rebound clear as day. Had nobody around him, and then was able to draw the attraction and draw the foul. So for that, we'll, we'll see. Chaz Dubois, the sophomore. Dubois will go to the line. Good size, young man. And if he can knock both down, that will tie things up early on. First one, no good. And you know, if you are Coach William Watson, coming off of a brutal loss like last night, this, as you said, it's, it's your comeback story. And it's a very, very important win so tonight we're going to be seeing hopefully a lot of changes uh, in comparison to last night's performance. 
I'm excited about what we've seen thus far, and I love the compliment of n number 24 with Dwayne Early when he comes in. He contributes right away as that football mindset of, I'm going to beat you to the spot. You're going to have to move me off of this spot because I own this. Yeah, this absolutely. This is my house. 100%. We saw yesterday uh, Dwayne Early coming in off the bench. As Tony pointed out, I mean, it was just incredible. I, he was very adamant offensively and defensively and just a very necessary presence. Lockett grabbing the rebound now. Central ball. Here's Wallace. Wallace to slow it down. Richardson finding his way open but gets back defended. Quite a few kick balls as we... Yeah, already two tonight. within the first four minutes. <laughs> but he's still on the World Cup fever. <laughs> and speaking of last four minutes, we are just under four in the first quarter. Man to man on the defense. Wallace with it. Nice bounce to Buchanan. Using the screen from Lockett. Finds Lockett, can't hold on to it, but will be tipped out on the Hawks. Eagles ball. I like that as he look in the feed, the post, which gives you that high percentage. Yeah, shot. yeah, and you and know, let's get to that charity strike. He's got he's got nice size too, um, so a move like that and that agile is very impressive and nice to see. So now Buchanan is going to give it out to Richardson. Richardson finding Lockett in the paint, and he's getting doubled. I will say they're they're really playing that game plan easy, but Richardson gets that put back attempt, good for two. That's Cat man Crothers. Garbage <laughs> man points of the game. Garbage man, absolutely. Love it, love it. Yeah. Love it. Nice and scrappy right back there. Um, good situational basketball. 100%. And to start off like that for the Eagles, it's nice to see them have a, a little lead. But at this point, you want to make it as big as you can, of course. And on top of that, uh, offensively, they look a lot better so far. You know, game just started. Uh, they're doing good, relying on the uh, inside buckets. And now we'll just see what uh, Coach Nick Marinello does with his Hawks. And earlier today, as I was uh, working at the Hall of Fame, I saw the, um, the Hawks go in for a little tour. They uh, were there about 12 o'clock today before they went in for practice for tonight's game. And it was nice uh, seeing the, the team and the staff beforehand. So that was very nice. And it's always cool during this Hoop Hall weekend that the basketball theme offers uh, all of the uh, tours and visits to these high school teams, and getting them the chance to uh, see the great birthplace of basketball on exhibit and display here in Springfield. And obviously being able to work there is a uh, blast. But now back to it, here is McKnight. McKnight to bring it down for the Hawks after the timeout using the screen from Sung, or Masung. And now Moore finding Masung. Shot is up from Petaway Diaz. Can't get it to go. Out of bounds. Eagles ball. You're watching Focus Springfield. <laughs> As Tony said, if you are just tuning in, of course you are tuned into Focus Springfield here at Springfield College. And for one more Springfield drop in Springfield, Massachusetts. And now for the Eagles is Richardson. Richardson on the handoff to Bass. Bass. Farther away from his territory. Giving it to Buchanan. Buchanan now finds Bass on the wing. Beautiful bounce pass, but intercepted at the end. Here's Moore on the fast break. Other side, takes it up, gets it to go in. A beautiful finish for Omari Moore. And now Richardson is going to slow it down. Lockett, intended for Lockett. Pass broken up. And you know, one thing to point out, of course, Coach William Watson, the uh, head football coach as well for the Eagles, has a quite the uh, roster of players that he's used to coaching as well. So it's really nice to see between Lockett, Richardson, Bass, and uh, Dwayne Early. So obviously he's able to stay coaching his kids, but there's Jalen Bass. I love that. As great you finish. see, they're really trying with very Great intention to get to that post. Yeah, absolutely. Feed that post. Well, it was a great finish from Jaden Bass. He not only draws the foul, but he gets the two. So, so the assignment for uh, 15 in the program on the opposite side, Dubois, Cass Dubois has yeah. been, um, he's been singled out to me. He has, yeah. You know, it looks like Hudson does have size, but right now with Bass and uh, Lockett, the size has definitely been in their favor. But now early checks in for the Eagles. 
The free throw attempt is no good, and that's got to be crucial for sure. But to start it off, four-point deficit for the Hawks. Moore finding Dubois. But now for uh, the Hawks is McKnight to Moore. Moore guarded by Richardson, finds Masung now to McKnight, and they call the travel on McKnight. And that will be Eagles' ball. And so now substitution for the Hawks. By the way, Diaz is subbed out for Javon Rampersant. And now for the Eagles, it's Buchanan. Hasn't got on the board yet, but they haven't really taken uh, any jump shots. So, of course, seeing his game yesterday, maybe when they start working that into the system, we'll see it. But here's Wallace to Buchanan. Buchanan pull up Jay for two. No good, but Richardson put back good for two. That was noticeably absent on last night. Uh, there were no putback attempts, no boxing out or rebounds, but plenty of turnovers. But I know, Tony. It was it was brutal for the Eagles. They did not look motivated in the paint at all. And now, Tony, under two minutes ago here in the first quarter, your score 10-4, to four, Eagles up. So far, a great start for William Watson's Eagles. But you can't count out Nick Marinello's Hawks as, again, you know, a high school powerhouse in New Jersey in general, being able to have some great players on the court and at this main event for tonight's Basketball Hall of Fame Hoop Hall Classic action. It's an honor commentating this game, but here's Bass finding Richardson on the wing for three. No good. Rebound by Omari Moore. Moore now moving it across to McKnight. McKnight back to Moore. Moore to McKnight. Corner drives. Baseline. Foul drawn on the floor and it'll remain Hawks ball. Early with the foul, his first. And they're letting him play uh, evenly at two team fouls each. A lot of action, a lot of physicality in this one. I really enjoy this game. Yeah, so far, we've, I, I, would, I would agree. I think that letting them play is probably the best description for it. Back to its more for the three, no good. Rebound by Early, already making his present be felt. Great board. And now Wallace has it. Yet to score. Buchanan back to Wallace. Wallace has to be dying to get on the board. To Buchanan in the corner, baseline drive. Beautiful find early, couldn't hold on to it. It's going to be out of bounds. Eagles ball. Well, again, now just under a minute to go. Lockett's going to take out Bass. Well deserved the substitution. breather here. Yeah, absolutely. You want to you want to definitely uh, rest your big man, especially with how prominent he's already uh, shown to be so far. And it looked like early when draw out another foul, so he's going to be taken out. Yeah, and now for the a little bit, I think he may have caught an elbow. Yeah, so they're going to just sit him, but Chauncey Ruiz subs in, subs in for him. Now for the Hawks is Maurice McKnight finding uh, Masung back to Moore, to McKnight. Back to Amari Moore. Screen proposed, but not taking it. They're going to call the foul as the Eagles. I mean, it's almost like we both jinxed it. It's now they're not letting them play. <laughs> Within the last 20 seconds, two fouls or three fouls called. Yeah, early holding his knee and getting some attention from the Physical therapist here. Never good to see for sure. You don't want any injuries, especially on a non-schedule affecting game like this. You're supposed to go out there, have fun, and obviously showcase, you know, your Talent. skills. Yeah. Yeah. And beautiful pass out to Dubois, and now it's back to Masong. In the corner is Moore for three. It looked good, but wasn't able to get it to go. Foul called again. So it will be on Dubois. And so Dubois will be subbed out for Penaway Diaz. And now Wallace will take it. And he's gonna try to let the ball roll. Less than sec or seven seconds to go. Wallace trying to get a shot up more there defensively. Beautiful defensive effort from Amari Moore. They're gonna call the jump ball and it's gonna be Hawks ball. And now 
Hawks have it with 1.7 to go. They're gonna try to get a shot up, give it a more, more. Pulls up quickly, deep three, almost, but no good. That's gonna end quarter number one, Tony. And what do you say to both sides today? Well, we have a really good contest here, equally matched as we've been able to trade buckets here, a couple stops on one end. At this point, as you see indicated by the scoreboard, central head in this one. I'm really excited if I'm a coach and what the guys are putting together. Yeah, absolutely, Tony. It's been a great start, and obviously, as much as we probably hate to bring it up, yesterday was a upsetting performance for Watson and his Eagles, so he's got to do everything he can tonight to make that not happen again, and obviously, I guess, redeem for it. And they're starting off red hot. I'm loving it. There's been a couple foul calls that slowed them down. But other than that, a great start uh, for the Eagles, containing the Hawks to four. And, you know, before we get back into this quarter, we would love to take a great shout-out to all of our uh, friends at Focus from Steve Carey, Brendan Holland taking care of things tonight in the control tabs. We got Bobby Markham, Josue Vasquez, um, Nate, George, and then, of course, Ciro and Tony taking care of the, uh, <laughs> the commentary. So yes, it's I'd been... like to see a little more offense out of Wallace tonight, and I want Buchanan to get his shot going there. He has such yeah, you know, stroke. Wallace was quiet yesterday, and so far quiet today, but I will say he's not quiet out of misery. You know, he's, he's not really just taking any shots. He's not being selfish. He's facilitating, and he, he does look good. Great to point that out. Well, we have some uh, new faces in the lineup. So they will be resting some of their players, but here is Buchanan finding Richardson on the wing. Finds Lockett, Lockett in the paint, spin move. Beautiful move for Lockett. Getting it in there off of a great offensive show out. And now timeout call by Marinello. So the Hawks will get a second to regroup right off the, you know, off the rip for the second quarter. Not a beautiful start for them. That's not how you want to <laughs> start it off. But we'll see uh, what Coach Marinello does say and how he takes care of it. And Tony, what are you, what are you thinking that Marinello is telling his, uh, his Hawks right now in this huddle before they go back out there? Well, they got to slow it down and play a little more smarter basketball as they're turning it over and they're not getting to their places. And, and to the defense uh, of the coach, uh, Central's doing what they need to at this point. Yeah, they, they certainly really are. Good basketball. I'm really excited to see that they put the last game behind them and they're out here focused and they're trying to uh, get this win. Absolutely. It, it shows that they definitely... Uh, have what it takes and start off like that to trigger the timeout. The Eagles are rolling. And now for the Hawks, as playtime will resume, we'll see Masong inbound to Moore. He looked good defensively at the end of that quarter. I mean, Moore was all over it, showing off his tenacity. And now to bring it down, he's Buchanan waiting for him. Moore to McKnight. McKnight back to Masung to Moore. Moore uses the screen by Diaz to the basket. Nice attempt, put back, no good. That was Javon Rampersamp, but couldn't get it to go. Now for the Eagles, moving the chains. Bounce pass to Lockett in the three-point area. Backing down, spinning around, out of bounds. Hawks ball. And now for the Hawks, will be Masung taking it down. A little change up. Buchanan waiting for him again. Here's McKnight. And the zone defense is certainly being used. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be turnover, Eagles ball. Great strategy. Absolutely. Great strategy. The zone appears to be doing what it's intended for. For sure, and they certainly don't really care about the mismatches because they have you know, lock it to worry about in the the, uh, the paint if anything goes wrong. <laughs> it's now the pass to Richardson on the wing. Swinging it. Uses the screen. Beautiful find in the paint. And it looks like it will be an offensive foul. And that will be Hawks ball. Number 13, Chauncey Ruiz. As he'll be subbed out, Jaden Bass will come in for him. 
Now starting off, Hawks down by eight currently, looking to get some momentum on offense. Here's Moore to McKnight. McKnight back to Moore. Now to Masung. Masung to drive, finding McKnight, back to Moore, top of the key, deep three, no good. Rebound by Bass to Richardson. Richardson now to uh, Buchanan. Loses control, now the fast break is Masung. Masung looking to have a clear path to the basket, gets it to go. Six point lead now for the Eagles. And that was a great fast break opportunity, capitalized tremendously by Alex Masung. And now it's Buchanan finding Richardson. Richardson in the corner, shot no good. Rebound by Rampersan. And now McKnight to Masung again. Drive is good and there's the life. Very nice basket made. Cutting it to a four point deficit now. The Hawks are back in it. 12-8 your score with five minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Buchanan finding Richardson. And you gotta love the presence from coach Nick Marinello. But the bucket is good. I love that shot, the floater. Left hand on, on top of that. Yeah, and Richardson gets it to go as he had another great game yesterday. And right now for the Eagles, Richardson is looking at six points, so a nice start. Now Masung has it. Back to Moore, top of the key. He's taking some nice looking threes, hasn't been able to get one to go. And there's gonna be the block foul, I believe. And for the Eagles, looks like a substitution will be made. So we will see Chauncey Ruiz come right back in. Let's talk a little bass. Uh, full boat scholarship to Syracuse for football. It's a beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful thing to see. Nice program. Especially for the city. A lot of you know kids from Central this year uh, with fantastic opportunities um, to you know continue their uh, collegiate <laughs> careers as they matriculate to that next level. Yeah, and absolutely. Kudos to Coach and his sons. Uh, yeah, and I mean just in. in from Pop Watson going to West Virginia to um, Josiah Griffin joining his brother at BC. A lot of great uh, signings for the high school athletes at Central. And now back to it. Here is Ruiz. Out of bounds. Hawks ball. Of course now will be more inbounding to McKnight. Under five to go. Lead cut to six now. Moore on the drive, stripped, recovered. Buchanan's there, but Moore is there again, and I gotta say, I love the energy from Moore. It's been continuous all night. Um, anytime that ball goes down and someone has it, Moore doesn't care. He's getting there, and he's gonna try to get it into their own possession, and you love to see that. You really do. Hustling is just a beautiful sp part of the sport, uh, really showing off how much you care about what you're fighting for and what you're playing for, and <laughs> no better way to show it off here at the Hoop Hall Classic. Exactly. Let's hear it for the hustle. And as we're talking sounds, and it's nice bass bottom on the bottom of this one. As we've been entertained all game long. <laughs> all game long. with the music. Well, just the opening music whenever they're introducing the bass is very loud, but this is nice. And it's a good song. Love Lope, Lupe Fiasco. Can never go wrong. But um, again, if you are just tuning in, this is Focus Springfield. I am Ciro Zanetti, greatly joined by... Tony Petaway, in your ear. <laughs> and I, I will say, as we wrap up our yearly tenure, this is our last game that we will be commentating, Tony, as always. I'm not ready to say goodbye yet, but it's been a pleasure and an honor to commentate with you once more for two days in a row, and it's been great, Tony. Oh, given an opportunity when uh, Steve called and said, hey, <laughs> Zero, your hero, <laughs> is interested in doing a couple games, wondered what you were doing, uh, say any way we can assist with uh, promoting uh, great sportsmanship and, and promoting the youth of Springfield in this way through this medium. Of course, Tony. And it's great, especially with the outlook uh, and, I mean, the outlet and platform that we're given, being able to display that. But now Wallace back in it, giving a Buchanan. Buchanan to lock it, lock it. Could have had Ruiz open, but holds on to it now. Lockett puts it up, no good. Bass going for the rebound, Love grabs the follow it. Up. Love the follow-up. And I mean, up. the defense is there stripping. Fantastic defense right now. Mm -hmm. Gonna go out of bounds, and I agree, Tony. I love the follow-up, staying with it. Now will remain Eagles ball off the out of bounds. 
Wallace inbound to Lockett. Lockett spin around. Nice. Beautiful finish from Nicely Lockett. Nicely done. Nice touch around the rim. And there. that's his move. He, he looks great doing that. Eight point lead now for the Eagles. Now McKnight has it. And that's a shot that's missing from most folks' repertoires. That what was that? baby hook. Oh, the baby hook? The baby hook. Love to see it. And now Ruiz rebound to Wallace. Wallace loses control, holds on to it. Masung there defensively, but Buchanan has it. They're going to call the travel. And so now for the Eagles, substitution will be made. It will be Calvin Godbolt, who had quite the performance last night, too, off the bench for the Eagles. And now, other, under four minutes go in the first half. 16-8 your score. Hawks trailing. Here's Masung. Finding more in the corner. Back to Masung. To McKnight. To Diaz. To McKnight. To Masung. Travel called. And you know, Tony, as I'm looking at the bench for the uh, the Hawks, I'm interested to see how this goes because I've noticed there's only been one substitution made, and that is uh, between Javon Rampersant. Other than that, it's all starting lineups. And if you look at the sleeves, there's uh, some uh, long sleeves on, usually indicating they're not going to be taking them off. <laughs> so we'll see how that rotation ends up going and how drained the, the starting five gets. Well, it's going to come down to conditioning. Absolutely. And uh, you're playing against a really conditioned football lady. <laughs> yeah. And it's Eagles seriously team. something to point out, Tony. I mean, that football conditioning is no joke. But here's Have you ever did grass drills? What was that? Grass drills. Have no. You, <laughs> you think I did grass drills? I might have watched it, but no, absolutely not. I'm not built for that. I've done the breaststroke. I thought that's what you were asking for. But no, no grass drills. <laughs> Godbolt, <laughs> John the foul. And some of these young men are Paul's very Donald. familiar with their weight room. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Kudos. familiar <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> Kudos to uh, Tad Tokars and the fine <laughs> staff over there for what they were able to erect. Yeah, the, the, the weight room looks fantastic. Yeah, what they're putting in. Absolutely doing programs. a great job. Great job, great job, coach. And now Moore has it. After the turnover for the Eagles, Hawks have possession with under three to go here in the first half. Finding Masung. Now to Moore. Moore, three. Can't get it to go. And they're going to call out of bounds on Godbolt. Tough call. But obviously, good attempt on him to make sure you know he's showing he's trying to go for it. Oh, yeah. Situational awareness. For good, sure. Uh, basketball IQ. It's great to see Julius Walker uh, taking in the game here. Of course. What an athlete he was in his day. A Commerce Red Raider. Uh -huh. Even as a uh, principal, has always had his part on the football coaching staff, making sure to stay active with them. And now for Juice. <laughs> the Eagles will be Wallace taking it down. Eight point lead now as Wallace Crosses over, guarded by Masung, hits Godbolt. Godbolt double team, but they find Lockett, pull up Jay for two. No good, bass rebound, attempt, no bueno. But now here is Moore. Masung with it. Moore to drive. No foul called, but now the Eagles have to capitalize. Here's Wallace. With a minute and 50 to go in the first half, Wallace is going to slow down the tempo. They've got 25 on the shot clock. Plenty of time to reset. More tight defense, not sagging. Here's Godbolt now in the corner, screened by Bass. Looks for Bass, but the deflection's there from McKnight, and Diaz recovers. Now more on the other side, drives. Good for two. Great finish from Amari Moore. Loving his energy tonight. Moore gets on the board as he's had a couple misses from beyond the arc, but right there, just a ferocious finish. A ferocious finish indeed. <laughs> I like that. That's a that's a tiger word. Yeah, yeah. Being a Tony, I'm a Definitely tiger not word. a hawk word, but may actually maybe a maybe maybe a hawk word. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having fun here, ladies and gentlemen. We're hoping that you're doing the same at home. It's a hoop hall classic here in Springfield, Massachusetts, the birthplace of basketball and the home of the Basketball Hall of Fame. We'd like to thank our superintendent of public schools here in Springfield, Dr. Danny Warwick. Danny Warwick for the work that he does each and every day to ensure that 
that thousands of young people get a quality education. And that's that's certainly uh, you know important job. Obviously, my grandfather Alfred Gisanetti held that title for a little bit, and uh, you know in the the school system, definitely a really important task. But um, yeah, not an easy one. Again, not not easy at all. You've got so many schools to worry about and so many schools to cater to equally and effect, uh, efficiently. And here in Springfield, Massachusetts, it's quite the reputation, especially athletics-wise. And again, it's always an honor to uh, have this opportunity to call this, you know, beautifully hosted event here at Springfield College. And now for the Eagles will be Wallace on the inbound after the Omari Moore finish. Pass, not held on to, and that was just an ugly play right there as McKnight holds on to it. Masung now, fake to the corner, I mean uh, to the paint, as it was to Rampersant, but he draws the foul. And that was a really ugly possession, Tony, for the Eagles. You call the timeout to slow things down, and right off the bat, incomplete pass, setting up the Hawks to the line, and that is 100% a key to a loss if you want to keep playing like that. You have to have your control and know where the ball is going if you're going to facilitate it, especially on a trap defense and under a game under this circumstance, Tony. Great analysis, Zero. And the first free throw attempt is no good. But again, yeah, if you're the Eagles, you, you cannot be making those mistakes, especially with a lead. Here Buchanan returns to the lineup to offer another ball handler. For sure, and then, you know, something that I love that you pointed out earlier today during the uh, girls game is, you know, if you got a team setting up these traps, you need to have a ball handler really take control of it. As we saw for the Eagles girls, travel called, and so it will be Eagles ball. But yeah, you know, if you're gonna be facing the trap, you gotta have a ball handler take care of it and know how to get their way out of it. Can't have any six foot five giant hold on to it. Right, you can't be playing checkers when they're playing chess. chess yeah, absolutely. Beautiful bounce pass to Richardson and again. This is what I'm talking about. Turnover, and they're gonna go to the line again with the opportunity. We hear Watson talking, and what is necessary for sure. And again, I mean, for for the Eagles, if you're going to be in this situation, you've, you've got to make the passes. Because you're not going to get across that court if they realize. I mean, Coach Nick Marinello is, is no dummy. I think he can definitely uh, observe when a team is not responding well to his defensive tactics. So he's just going to keep running until they find it. You don't fix it if it ain't broken. And considering they're now two for two for uh, the turnover and get into the line, obviously the efficiency isn't there until that shot goes in from a song but they're not gonna stop it. Watson makes the adjustment with the substitution. Great adjustment now getting it across and a beautiful rejection. And it was great to see them fall through, but it goes on the out of bound marker interference. But that's what you want. That Someone is what you want. knows where to be in that. Perfect, yeah, offense. situational awareness as and you always right, point out. Run right lane to lane. Absolutely, Tony. That lane discipline is important. He now, got a shot off with a good defensive move by yeah, the great Hawks. defensive stop from Wari Moore. Oh. Beautiful attempt, can't get it to go, but that was Rampersant who puts it back, cutting it to three points now with 40 seconds to go here in the first half. And now Wallace to Buchanan, can't hold on to it. Lockett saves it. Lockett puts it up, gets it to go. Beautiful finish, and they're rushing back to make sure that there's some heads in the paint. Moore has it, Moore draws the foul and gets it to go. And a beautiful look, drawing the foul. A little coaching instruction coming from the sideline. He says, you gotta beat him to the You gotta. You gotta beat him to that spot. And you saw him indicating it the second that Lockett made it. Get back. <laughs> no Ole defense. No Ole. <laughs> I could certainly lay down though now after the two very long days that we have faced. I'm absolutely sure that everyone else here at Focus can agree. But um, what has been a fantastic two day stretch, Tony, and not made possible without all of our staff, including Bobby and Josue, George, Nate, Brendan, and of course we got Ciro and uh, Tony <laughs> heading it off for the uh, commentary. But now 20 oh, seconds no. to go 
as he converted the end one to a two point game. Out of bounds, Eagles ball. Less than a shot clock to go at 18 seconds in the first half. Central having some difficulties with this pressure it's, here. It's not looking good for them. A couple of ball fakes and, you know, throw them off. Yeah, absolutely. They're telegraphing their passes. And God, well, beautiful pass to Matt Rocket. As the defense was there, Rampersen sending it out of there. And now to Masung drawing the foul again. If you're the Eagles, 10 fouls in the first half is putrid. That's that hustle. They're, they're hustling, they're contesting every shot. Every yeah. shot is contested in that paint down. It every is. Every shot. But if it's not contested efficiently, right. it's not as effective. You gotta make sure if you're gonna be contesting it, those hands are up and actually away. And their point selection, or their, their shot selection, excuse me, is in that maroon square. Absolutely, yeah, that's how it's been all it's game. in that maroon square. They are not jump shooting from the perimeter. They're not taking those half court shots. No. Or, or those They're deep being threes. smart. They are concentrated. Absolutely. And Masung able to get the second one down to cut it to a one point deficit. Six seconds to go. Bass looking to move it. Finds Richardson. Richardson to get a shot up before the buzzer sounds. Beautiful drive. Can't get it to go. Would have been a fantastic finish. And ladies and gentlemen, that will finish the end of our first half. The Eagles leading by one against the Hudson Catholic Hawks. If you are just now tuning in, this is Focus Springfield, and we will be back. This is Ciro Zanetti joined by... Tony Petaway. What a great game we have so far. Great game so far, and we'll see you in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the return of the Eagles-Hawks matchup here at the Hoop Hall Classic. This is Ciro Zanetti, gratefully joined by... Tony Petaway in your score, 18-17. Spiro... Ciro! There we go. It is a Tuesday. <laughs> there we go. Tony! What did you see this first uh, half <laughs> that you would make in terms of adjustments if you're uh, either of the coaches? Well, I would personally say my point out was the guard play for the Eagles was not at its peak as the backcourt in that last minute, you know, go around for that half was a little sloppy as the Hawks took control and were able to uh, get back into it. But now, for the Eagles, they draw the foul early on. And uh, <laughs> I, I love whenever uh, we make the mishap, because again, as I pointed out in the previous call, <laughs> I've been watching The Sopranos, so I get so used to saying, Pony, and now you, <laughs> you get so used to calling me Spiro. <laughs> I'm not Greek, I'm Italian, Tony. <laughs> and now Wallace on the inbound Great to pass. lock it. Beautiful find of Buchanan. Pull up J for two, way off the mark. Bass looking to recover it, out of bounds. Hawks ball. Well, someone opened the door. It's a little cool on that end down yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Finding its way over there. And now here's McKnight for the Hawks. Hitting the corner more for three. Contested, gets it to go. Beautiful play and for foul. the Hawks. And that's quite the way to, to you know start off the quarter. Get a two-point lead and get to the line to potentially make it a three-point lead. Getting their first lead in a while. And our first lead change. Yeah. First lead change. And they get it to the three-point lead. Here's Wallace. Easily trapped. Bass finds Buchanan, finds Lockett. Better Can't pass. find him. Over the head, too high. And now Masung with it. Other side, fast break. Can't get it to go. And Rampersant looked to haul it in, couldn't, but it will stay Hawks possession. And now that will be McKnight on the inbound. Looked for Rampersant, can't hold it in. Now it's Buchanan for the Eagles. Buchanan quiet tonight with the goose egg. Here's Bass, Bass backing down in the paint. Looked for Richardson, couldn't hold on to it. Now here's McKnight on the other side. Drive, beautiful, can't finish though. Goes out of bounds, Hawks ball off of Richardson. The passing has just been a little off Oof. as they're making the adjustments. I hope it'll get better. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it will, it will get better. And now McKnight on the inbound for the Hawks. He finds Masung. And now the three-pointer from Moore, can't get it to go. 
Wallace now off of the Buchanan rebound. Screen used, but more on the switch up. Here is Buchanan, guarded by McKnight. Beautiful bounce pass to Bass. Backing down in the paint, rejected, out of bounds. Hawks ball. Keep working, keep working, young man. Absolutely, you gotta keep going. Can't give up there, you're down three. After having the lead for the entirety of the game now, you can't stop. And it's awesome to see the uh, Central Golden uh, Eagle cheerleading team here supporting uh, the men. Great deflection, great stop. Eagles ball, here's Wallace hitting Buchanan, screen. Buchanan back to Wallace. Wallace bounce pass to Lockett. Great Lockett passing. backing down. Can't get the, the shot to go, but he will go to the line to shoot two. Wallace definitely facilitating on this end here. Absolutely. That's what I've noticed. Uh, I, Wallace not being the scorer out of the two games I've seen him, but definitely uh, facilitating in a, uh, a, a great fashion for the Eagles. Yeah, I'd like to see him look for a shot there. <laughs> for sure. A couple opportunities there. Absolutely. Let it go. Lockett's first free throw is good. And now Lockett will go for the two for two attempt to cut the deficit to one point. Gets it to go. And now for the Eagles, or the Hawks now have possession after the Eagles was going to say as they cut it to a one point game. And now here is Moore to Masung to McKnight. Back to Masung, loses it, Wallace takes it, now Buchanan takes control, has it, gives it a Bass quickly, beautiful facilitation now. Here's Buchanan firing it to Richardson, Richardson called for the travel, and you know, last night and today so far, Richardson has had quite the performance as, uh, you know, throughout his career with the um, Central High School Golden Eagles. <clears throat> he has definitely uh, made his mark for the basketball team, but on the uh, football field, backup quarterback to uh, Pop Watson for three years. So definitely, uh, again, familiar to the Watson system as the head coach, but now Hawks ball looking for the inbound will be McKnight. As we've seen, you know, the smallest on the court usually, McKnight has been the inbounder and it's Quite the, uh, I, I like that. I like that, that approach. I'm not used to that usually. We usually see the big men kind of inbounding it, but, or I'd say even the threes, but we've got McKnight continuously inbounding now. As he's able to find the open man, that was Dubois. Gets it to go. Here's Wallace. Three point deficit for the Eagle, stripped by Moore. Moore on the other side of things. Bam! Slams it down. Presence felt, Omari Moore cooking it up now, 13 points in this evening. Here's Wallace, guarded by Moore, foul called on number five though. And now Wallace on the inbound, beautiful pass to Buchanan. Back to Wallace, Wallace loses it. Lock going for the recovery, can't do it. Wallace sticking with it as Bass strips it out from Moore. And the big man taking it into his own, spinning around, finds Richardson for the two. Lockett gets the putback attempt twice, but can't get it to go. And there's Buchanan, can't hold on to it though, as it remains Hawks ball. And four minutes to go here in the third quarter as the Hawks have built up a nice five point lead. We're gonna see Dwayne Early come in for Max Lockett. Yeah, that's a really good substitution as uh, Early has always come in and contributed right away. Absolutely. Whether it's a rebound or putting some uh, strong side defense, helping with the weak side as well. Definitely, and I'll, I'll say taking Lockett out is a little, it, it's like iffy but also necessary because he's proven to be their star player tonight, offensively and defensively more. Three attempts, no good. But he's, Lockett's been fantastic, so to give him some rest is key. Here's Buchanan to Wallace, bounce pass to Bass. Bass back and down, can't finish, but early, early right away. can't get it to go either. And now Richardson Stick holds with it. with it, 
for three. Gets it to go. Put it on the board. The three cuts it to a two point deficit. You're getting the extra rebound. That From early, yeah. Absolutely. And touches around the rim. And Richardson holding on to it, making the shot. Great shot creation. More wide open. Can't get it to go. Buchanan rebound. Now he's going to get it to Richardson again for three. Can't get it to go either. They're going to call the foul on the floor. And that's going to be Eagles ball again. I love the new burst of energy. Absolutely. You, you need the resurgence. You, you need a great play or even just a good duration to get some momentum going. And now Wallace on the inbound. Finds early, rejected, but Bass also stripped. He's got a lot of balls stripped from him today, Bass. Um, inside the paint on a lot of his attempts, and he's too big for that. You, you can't be that, that, you know, that size-wise and keep getting it stripped out. You gotta hold on to it and know when you can pump, or if you're gonna fake and pass it out to somebody at an open shot. But now here is Buchanan. I will say Bass has had some incredible uh, baskets for the Eagles. Back to Bass. Shot. Now to Buchanan. Here's Richardson. Richardson Nicely gets done. it to go, and man, he is something special, tying it up. 25-25. You left him with the left. I know. <laughs> left him, left the lefty with the left. <laughs> and a, a smart timeout for Marinello as he gets to uh, take over and, uh, you know, get some subs and some nice calls in for his players. And as you look at the tail of the tape in, in terms of the scoring and the distribution of the basketball, you look at Central Golden Eagles, you, you know, three, one, two, two, one, and no one scoring. You know. Those are fouls. The f for the fouls, a lot of fouling. The points, though, are definitely on the board. <laughs> I'm seeing green. <laughs> good night, Irene. <laughs> well, there's a good thing you're seeing green and not red, for sure. Uh, but no, uh, Tony, I knew exactly what you were saying. Uh, with some subs in for the Eagles, um, they've been very efficient all around and outside of their backcourt being quiet. Um, their front court has been incredible. Uh, between Lockett and Bass, they've been very good. Early has been great off the bench with four of his own. And that's the great uh, one-two punch that we've Absolutely. been commentating and, oh, and yeah. cheering with the uh, viewing audience. Uh, that's been their success. They're going to ride yeah. these two horses they're going to win this thing. Yeah, absolutely, Tony. We'd love to see a shot or two from Buchanan come to life and definitely get Wallace that, yeah. to take a shot or two. But For sure, Tony. Great basketball being had, 25-25. Here's Moore, gets it to McKnight. Back to Moore, to McKnight again. Guarded by Buchanan. And there is Rampersant back to um, Masung. Moore again. The Rampersant, but there is... Petaway Diaz getting it for two. <laughs> and they take the lead at 27-25 with 2.40 to go in the third quarter. Wallace now finds Buchanan, nice jab. I like the placement. Screen by Bass, beautiful find to Bass. Biding his way in, can't get it to go. Put back, no good. Put back again, no good. Rebound, Petaway, foul, I believe, on Bass. They're collapsing in, in that paint. I mean, there's three guys contesting uh, Bass's in. Attempts yeah. every time. He's he's very easily contained for the Hawks. They they've taken control of him pretty uh, easily in the paint as their defense has been fantastic. And now Masug loses it, but gets it back to Moore, and now to McKnight. McKnight finds Masung to Moore again, and I love the movement. The movement from the Hawks has been great all night as they keep moving it around. Here's Moore drive big time. Rejection, up and down, jump ball, will be Eagles ball. Well, two minutes and some change left in this third quarter action. Brought to you by our good friends here at Springfield College. I'd like to thank them for hosting such a wonderful tournament annually. Absolutely, Tony. It's such a pleasure working here at uh, Springfield College for the Hoop Hall Tournament. Now Wallace to Bass. 
And Bass likes to back down from the, the arc. It's really interesting to see. There's Early, can't get it to go. Great shot. Wallace, drawing the foul, and he's gonna go to the line. Yeah, it's always interesting to see how Bassa plays. He's pretty darn athletic for his size and has a great um, ethnic or uh, ethic of just getting it to the, to the basket um, and really using his mobility for it. We see the spin arounds and the shakes and the pump fakes, and it's awesome to see. And now reminds Lockett's me of another big body at about 6'4", <laughs> uh, many pounds ago in Charles Barkley. Yeah, of course, round mound. Rebound, baby. Because he would definitely ask for that ball in the paint and yeah. back to the basket. And Always. He'd work you. And he could jump, too. Oh, yeah. Barkley could get up there. And Wallace not able to get that Richardson rebound, though. And there's Buchanan. Nice reception. Jay. Nice Nice. Shot. Smooth I like love, butter. Love that. That was a very, very nice shot. As they take the lead for one point now. Or one point lead, I should say. Here's Omari Moore. And for the lactose intolerant, smooth like silk. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Having fun. We're hoping that you are too. Uh, and the Hawks able to get it to go for the lead again. Wallace, pass no good, but it's going to be out of bounds off the Hawks. And Lockett comes in for Bass. That's tonight. Lockett playing fantastic with 10 points. And again, Richardson has been very big for the Eagles. Buchanan finds Richardson, holding on to it. Nice you. screen usage. Finding early, early pump. Nice pass to Richardson. Beautiful awesome. lay. Awesome. Beautiful lay. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter, and they get that lead right back. Tight game. Here's McKnight. I tell you, they're looking good with the uh, sophomore play here with Wallace Buchanan. And I'd love to see more of the Galbaugh kid. Yeah. Comes in and contributes. Definitely. And here we have McKnight getting it to Moore. And now to Tan or Ramp and Sent. Back to McKnight on the wing. Nice pressure from Wallace, but there is Masung. Beautiful three. Can't get it to go. Oh, almost. I almost spoke too soon. And now 10 seconds left. We have Richardson with it. Crosses. Drives. Beautiful layup. Swirling in before the buzzer to end the third quarter. A nice little salt in the wound as 32-29 will be your score for the end of the third. Going into it, Tony, what do you have to say about that oh, final uh, the play. drive for the Richardson? Play. Oh, he brought it down, assessed the court, looked and spaced it beautifully, went to the crossover, and the nice finger roll, finger roll, finger roll. Now, how would you say that in Italian? Figaro! 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, absolutely, Tony. Um, and as we are getting to our fourth quarter, of course, we can never go wrong with a nice shout out to our focus crew from Steve Carey making it all happen for me to Brendan Holland always making it happen for me. <laughs> and of course, with the controls taking care of everything, we've also got Bobby, Josue, uh, Nate and George taking care of things with some great visuals for everyone watching at home. And for the voices, I am Cyril Zanetti, greatly joined by... Tony Petaway. And again, fourth quarter action starting up shortly. Eight minutes left. To so you're, you're Coach Watson. You uh, have a, a, a two-points you know, lead. Yeah, absolutely. So you got a three-point lead going into eight minutes. That's a lot of time, Tony. You're going to want to really worry about ball management. I think that's the most underrated aspect of this game. Find a way to make sure you can milk that clock out and not in a, uh, you know, shameless way. Find an opportunity. If you're going to facilitate from the inside, make that your game plan. And definitely lock up on defense. Uh, prevent the three-point shots while also keeping this fantastic paint presence that they have um, between both lineups that they use, whether it's early in Lockett, early in Bass, or Lockett and Bass. Whenever the three of those guys are out there protecting the paint, it's been very efficient. Um, however, <laughs> I spoke a little too soon. One thing I was going to say that they got a little better at was fouls, but please, <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm Watson, I want to stop it with these fouls. Let them take those shots. Well, you have the three sophomores joined by the two seniors in big number one in your program, Lockett, and Robinson uh, controlling the tempo. 
But uh, the future is bright when you look at Wallace, Brew Cannon, and Early who are contributing. Absolutely, Tony. I mean, you got sophomores who have plenty of time to really find their own as these are just young kids, sophomores, playing at such a great pace. And there's McKnight, beautiful steal. Gets it for two. Tie game. And now Buchanan finds Early. And there's Richardson. Richardson drive, no good. Lock it, trying to get the board. Can't though, there's McKnight. And they're gonna call it on the offensive end. Charge foul. And a great pull from Buchanan. Good headsy play. I don't know if I'm uh, sacrificing my body. I, I definitely would it. not, know. <laughs> but again, I think that's why we're both commentating. I, I'm not made for this, Tony. You, you may have been, but me, not so much. But another turnover for the Eagles, and this is ugly. Mar, or more, oh my goodness gracious, count it. The three-pointer gets it to go. Omari Moore. Wow, he's been incredible tonight. And that's just, that, that, that's bad luck, you know. I don't know how to explain it. That's just a play you can't make up. Gets the, the wide open three to go. Lockett wanted to add pressure. And man, has the chance to make it a four-point play, Tony. I never thought I'd be saying I'd be calling a potential four-point play two times in one day. Earlier tonight, we got to see that from Megan Kirk for uh, <coughs> the Hawks. For the Hawks. Or the, yeah, no, for the Sharks earlier the today. Sharks. Yeah. Correction. Correction. And now for the Hawks, they convert that uh, four point play to make it a four point game. Well, let's see what Central does with this possession here. Yeah, we'll see it. Back to Richardson. Here's early, finding Wallace to Richardson on the wing, three pointer up. Can't get it to go, rebound there. And nice effort from Wallace, but it's going to be Hawks ball. But yeah, earlier today we got to see that four point play, a lot of shooting, but the Lady Eagles were able to prevent the Hawks from swimming as they ended up walking away with a great victory. And now we see the Hawks with it, finding in the corner, Rambisant. Now to Moore and Masung drive, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Six point game now. Slow it down if I'm the Eagles. You got six minutes. Here's Wallace. Nice facilitation moving it around. We see Wallace back to Richardson. To Wallace for three. Shot way off the mark. Great uh, rebound early. Nice, nice fake pass. to Richardson. Beautiful setup. And Very there's nice. that deficit shortening to four points now, Tony. I like the play. Beautiful read from uh, Early. Love the fake right into an effortless pass, setting up Richardson, who's been on his mark 17 points tonight, rivaling Omari Moore. And I mean, I counted out, I mean, I, I uh, shout out Omari, Omari Moore earlier off in the game when he had only zero points. <laughs> and he was definitely, I think, 0 for 3 before he even got a basket. And I just knew that the energy he was displaying he was going to be able to turn it around. And leading the game right now, game high of 18 points. Fantastic outing for the Hawks. And if I'm Coach uh, Marinello, I'm definitely loving that. Richardson finds Lockett backing down, finding his way, looking for the foul call. Can't get it early. Nice putback attempt. Can't get it to go. Early still sticking with it, loving the energy. Here's more. They're going to call the foul. And that buzzer will sound. Substitution will be made. Lockett will be out. Bass will be in. And so now it will be Hawks ball. As they have the four point lead, they're gonna get it to Masung. Finds McKnight, back to Moore. And now there's um, Rampersant. Here's Petaway Diaz to Moore, to Masung for two. Splash. And now they've, they've found their groove. Five minutes to go here in the final quarter. It's gonna be a turnover. So that will be Hawks ball. Now I said what I, I personally thought the Eagles should do. Tony, what do you what do you say uh, Watson should be aiming for in the last five minutes of this game? Not just quarter, game. Keep working it inside. I mean, Bass is your workhorse, and uh, Robinson uh, appears to have the hot hand, so you let him 
continue to do what he do. Absolutely. It's what you got. Richardson, I'm sorry. For sure, yeah, no. Uh, I mean, A.J. Richardson has been on his mark today with 17 for the Eagles. And if you can keep around with that, that'd be great. Great recovery for the Eagles as it looked to be an out-of-bounds strip. But Early and Bass work together and confirm it's still Eagles ball. Yeah, slow it down. The slow the tempo down as we've had a number of turnovers. Turnover was hurt. 100%, Tony. Oh. And they, that was just... A miscue. That was really, really bad miscommunication right there as Richardson had the back to the ball, but the ball hit his back. <laughs> and now <laughs> Hawks but ball with the six-point lead. Petaway to Masung, to McKnight, to Moore, to Masung, to the basket. Shot no good. Early rebound, nice early. rebound. And now McKnight giving the defense up early beyond the arc. Beautiful defense from Moore, but Early takes it now. Richardson has it, floater up. Can't get it, but draws the foul, and that's big time. That's what you want to continue to do. It's the Richardson and Bass show on the offensive side. Since Buchanan is taking a breather, and Wallace is going to look to find his shot eventually. And Early's giving you boards. That's what you run with. Yeah, you know, I, I will say, other than Bass having four, other than that, uh, the Eagles only have Lockett and Richardson to be happy about offensively. Lockett with, uh, I believe, uh, 11 of his own, or it might be 10. And now Richardson to make it 18, to tie with Moore for the game high. And it's unfortunate, but that's just embarrassing. You want to make sure that all of your guys are scoring, especially if you're putting up attempts. But, however, it's in a good effort because all these attempts look beautiful from the two players that have been producing the most. Richardson gets it to go. Two to two, and he'll go to 19 points so far as he takes the game high. And he looks great. I mean, the shot has been fantastic all night, and getting those foul draws are great. Four-point deficit now. McKnight guarded by Richardson, but now it's Masong back to McKnight. Moore guarded by Buchanan. Couple stops here. Yeah. And cash in on the other end, and it's Definitely. still a game I within would, reach. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with you. Moore, whistle blown. Wasn't able to see the call. Were you able to? Yeah. Um, foul on the it. floor? Yeah, number 25. All right. So, Currency Smith will be called with the foul. Yeah. He held him while he was going around the house. Ah. All righty. So now back to the action. Hawks attempt no good. They're going to call travel on Richardson, which is huge. Yeah. And it will be Hawks ball again. McKnight on the inbound. Bounce pass to Moore. Nice Stripped trip. away. Richardson has it. Great communication between the two. Richardson to the other end. Layup Gets good. Great drive. Better finish. Two points for the deficit. And now and more. 21 for him. 21, Tony. Incredible. And now here's more. Back to McKnight. As he finds Masung. Gonna back down, nice pass in the paint. Draws the foul. That will be Kaz Dubois going to the line. So Currency Smith with three uh, fouls so far. We've got, you know, I guess the time to, to have those fouls. Three minutes, less than three minutes to go here in the game. Not early on, so not really necessarily foul trouble. Um, but now first attempt, no good. Dubois has got to knock this down. And the shot is up, no good, couldn't get either to go. Eagles have the chance to tie here or take the lead depending on their poison they choose. Here's Richardson. Nice slow down to Bass. Beautiful bounce pass to Buchanan. Nice slip. To Bass again. Bass to early shot, no good. 
Richardson fighting for the board. Looks like an over the back. And it will be Hawks ball. And your foul situation. Uh, team fouls. Yeah, slow it down for sure. <laughs> now they'll take Richardson out. And subbing in for him will be Chauncey Ruiz. And now they're in the bonus, so they'll get the one and one. So Masung potentially his only attempt is up. Can't get it to go. And Currency Smith with a great board. Smith now getting it to the other side. Guarded by Moore. He's going to hit Buchanan. Recovers his own mopped pass. Beautiful play. Timeout, Watson. Great play. I think that's a great call. That's a great timeout. The offense looks scattered right there, so yeah. they want to take their time Draw and really get the game plan. Absolutely. Let everyone know where they're expected to be and, and get, get a high percentage shot out Absolutely, of this Tony. 216 to go here in the game. Down by two. Definitely Let's doable. Win. Let's win it. Yeah. Love to see the energy from the young ladies who are out here showing their, their skills off and their team pride and school pride. That uh, central passion is certainly like no other, for sure. But yeah, Tony, I mean, it's, it's coming to an end. We're almost wrapping it up soon as we've got just a little over two minutes to go at this uh, main event to quite the two-day tenure you and I have uh, both had working here. And uh, I will say tonight's games between the, the, uh, the Eagles and the Sharks and now the Eagles and the Hawks. Very fun to commentate with you, Tony. Oh, I had a blast. I've had a blast to be able to come out and, and support this worthy cause and these young people and their uh, development as they matriculate through their high school collegiate careers. And, and They're getting to it's it. A, it's an awesome thing. Yeah, definitely. Richardson on the inbound now. He finds Wallace, who has one point, or one point <laughs> next to his name was the free throws. Wallace to Richardson to okay. early. On the collapse, Back to Wallace, here we go, nice to Buchanan, shot. to Richardson. Nice pass to Wallace, to early. Early to Bass. Bass draws the foul, and that's just a beautiful play right there. Well designed. Absolutely. You Looked know great. what you wanted, and you waited patiently to get your big man in the paint. And with a missed attempt, he was fouled. Let's see if he cashes in on these necessary. Free throws. <laughs> it's good on the first. First is good for Bass. Cuts it to one. And they're gonna see Ruiz come in for Richardson. Second free throw, no good. Nope, gets the Early ball back. Helps Bass Big take control of it, but can't connect. Oh. Can't Couldn't connect. ask for a better that was a nice opportunity. Setup. Yeah. Couldn't finish. Here's Masung to Moore. Now it's Ramper Sant. Now to McKnight. Hits Moore. Now to Masung. The drive to the corner for Ramper Sant. No good. Rebound early. early, here we go. 1.17 to go in the game. Down by one is the Eagles. Time We're going to call another Beautiful timeout. timeout. And again, I, what are you going to do if you don't use them? Yep. Might as well get them out of there. You have the ball, now you draw something up. We're going to go over play to Coach Spiro. You have to. What's in your head, Coach? Well, right now, I want to slow it down. You got 28 seconds, and you got the opportunity to take the lead. Whether it's tied up from one free throw out of two, which is not a situation I ever want to think about. But overall, I want to go to the line in this situation. I want to draw the clock up as much as I want and find Bass in the paint. And get him to draw that foul and go to the line. I think that's the easiest opportunity for them. Because um, you got your big man, and he's going to be easy to draw that foul. Well, you've read my notes, so I don't have anything to say. So. <laughs> I think that's just the easiest and most safest way because it allows your players to also rehabilitate their energy while you potentially get points on the board. And that guard has to make sure it get 
he gets back. Always. Definitely got to get back. Don't get beat with the long inbound or the long rebound. Absolutely. Always got to make sure that they get back in time. And now after the uh, timeout, same lineup for the Eagles. Richardson actually coming in for Ruiz as he'll be at the head of the inbound. Music still playing. Richardson inbound it to Wallace, and it looks like they're gonna take the time for a second. Buchanan to Wallace, Richardson. Richardson back to Wallace to Buchanan. Buchanan swings at it early in the corner. Early, all the way up top to Richardson. Deep three, off the mark completely. Ugly shot. Nice form, bad follow. <laughs> and now Richardson's out, Ruiz comes in. Down one, I don't think well, you, you take the look. three. Yeah. I don't know, Tony. But that's the reason I'm not a coach, I will say that. Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but now Moore, back to uh, McKnight now. Less than a minute to go here, folks. Almost a little bit of miscommunication, but Rampersant recovers it. Here's Moore. Moore to drive, can't finish. Eagles looking for the rebound, and they draw that foul. That was a blatant foul, and he's gonna go to the line. That will be Alex Masung, who has 12 points tonight. Now with the opportunity of the Hawks taking a three-point lead, what are you doing, Tony, if you're Coach Watson? You still do what you intended on the last one. You take it in, you try to get that high percentage shot. Absolutely. Hopefully he's fouled in the act of shooting and you know, try to tie it that way. Or try if to, he yeah. hits another great look like he had, he was yeah. uncontested. Well now you know, you, they you bring him back iron in or something. Give him that opportunity. Got Lockett back in it. Big substitution for them. And all right, that is now a three point game. We're going to see a timeout called. So now, Hudson takes a timeout. Three point lead for the Hawks as you've got 30 seconds to go. Now, the Eagles have to score here. I think that's just the only thing I can really say. They need to score, get on the board. Lay up mid range, three pointer, whatever it is. Whether you want to tie it, whether you want to shorten the deficit, get it back to the one point situation. As long as you can get a legitimate defensive stop and not send them to the line as you have nine fouls. And I believe that would make it 19 on the game for the Eagles. That's that's brutal. So you want to avoid that if possible, unless you're confident sending someone to the line. As we've seen, a couple players miss at their opportunities. Well, we will see. We will see, Tony. As the buzzer sounds, the court will be filled with 30 seconds to go here at our main event. The Hudson Hawks, the Central Eagles. What a matchup it has been. And now they'll get it on the opposite baseline, so they're gonna have to watch that pressure, Tony. They need to watch that pressure. Wallace finds Richardson. Richardson, they wanna move. You gotta move here. Get it across the court for one and then start your playmaking. Guarded by Masung is Richardson. Picks Find Bass. Dribble. Bass to Buchanan. Buchanan right to the defender. That's just a bad pass. And they're gonna force the foul. Tough turnover. And now eight seconds remaining and we see a quote unquote evacuation <laughs> of the uh, stands. Most likely uh, central side after that play. McKnight in that double bonus gets two. Yeah, they had their opportunities, uh, on both opportunities down, uh, just unsuccessful in terms of yeah. cashing in. And in that instance, not even getting a shot attempt at the hoop. Well, of course, yeah, and I, I will say, you know, it ain't over till it's over. If he that's misses it. this this three-point, I mean, this free throw, you got a timeout, they got eight seconds to go, and that's more than enough time to get a shot more up if you really enough, want it. More than enough time. 
McKnight to seal the deal in an attempt. Up, good. Timeout still. And now up four, makes it a two possession lead. Beautiful position and predicament for the Hawks. And so now Hudson takes that final timeout. And it's smart for uh, Marinello. Taking the timeout before Watson can for one so it doesn't allow him to get closer to the basket. They don't get that mid-court advantage. They're right on the baseline on the opposite end. And also being able to talk it over with his, his team to get that best defensive game plan. I mean, I, I am no sorcerer, but I can expect a press. And I can expect <laughs> that, uh, that trap. So we'll see how the Eagles, I mean, their, their backcourt has been lackluster on the handling of the situational uh, press and uh, traps that they've been thrown at. But we'll see how they're able to in the most crucial outing of the game. Eight seconds to go. Timeout still remaining for the Eagles. If they can miraculously get a three up, get it to one point, and get a, get a stop, they have that timeout still. So we'll see. This is the most... It's a very important possession, obviously, potentially the final possession of the game. Here's Richardson. Richardson muffles it. Now he's got to move the chains. Gets it early. Early now on the opposite side. Goes to the basket. And Currency Smith gets it to go, but that's just going to practically end the game. 0.1 seconds remaining. So 0.1 seconds. Central calls that timeout. The science is 0.4 seconds to get the shot up. So unfortunately, that does nothing. <laughs> but uh, able to get that last second shot, Currency Smith, make it a two point deficit. And that's big. So Tony, uh, any uh, last second thoughts? They put the shot up now to 0.5. So they will have the scientific ability to get a shot up before the game ends. And I thought they would make the adjustment. As I didn't they think they did. would. So they did, thankfully. Well, kudos to the uh, table officials and yeah. having the wherewithal to award them that little bit of a... Uh, they, they got the opportunity. Of course, it's going to be tough because you're going to have to get a press. And they pulled the, the playbook where they can't hit the baseline uh, pass in, so they'll be on that side, so they have the opportunity. They can't do it. Well, let's see what they come with. And so now Lockett, Jones, Godbolt, Buchanan and Early for the Eagles on the court. And now we'll see, as the music is still playing, this is quite interesting, but now 0.5 seconds, and that will end the game for the Eagles, Hawks regulation, final score 43-41, the Hudson Catholic Hawks take over the Springfield Central High School Golden Eagles in what was an incredible game to commentate with my great friend, Tony Petaway. And ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned into Focus Springfield. What an incredible little two-day tenure that Tony and I were able to take control of on the play-by-play -play and color commentary here at the Hoop Hall Classic in Springfield College. Once again, this is Focus Springfield. You are listening to Cyril Zanetti and Tony Petaway, and thank you.